Well, that was a nice way to end the uh, series. Uh, games like that, I got to take notes, so I'm going to refer to my notes here because I don't remember half the things. Things uh, obviously, the th things that stand out. Al Altair's three-run bomb uh, as a pinch hitter was a uh, very well-timed hit. Um, Freddie, the, the two-run double earlier. Freddie got a nice bunt down, and Freddie had a sacrifice fly. Uh, the catch that uh, uh, Herrera made was spectacular. And I don't even remember if Freddie made a great play, but I assume that he did. Um, uh, earlier in the game, we hit it to two more line drive outs, and that I, I kept thinking we were snake bitten and what was going to happen. But you have to uh, admit, the uh, after losing five in a row, these guys were very resilient. You know, Hellickson didn't give us a complete five innings. Um, Thompson did a pretty good job. Uh, uh, you know, he got he stumbled a little bit, but he did he did okay. He was throwing strikes uh, for the most part when he had to. <coughs> Uh, Nishak held it, held the game where it was, which was huge. And then obviously Neris pitched uh, six up, six down, just what the doctor ordered. Um, if I missed anything, let me know. Aaron was all right pitch wise before yeah, the game. Yeah, Aaron could have played today, but uh, you know I wanted it. I didn't want it to come back and have a setback. So I figured with the day off tomorrow, today would be a good day to give him another day off and. Uh, uh, knowing he was available to pinch hit, and uh, so it worked out well. Good Actually, I saved him for that big moment. <laughs> That's what I did. Good, good work. <laughs> there was always a thing on him that That's if he could ever hit a, a breaking ball, and that was that was his slider, first pitch slider, wasn't a great one, but that he would be a dangerous hitter with major league pitch. Can you see that coming in his game? For sure, I can see it coming. You know, he's got a high ceiling, and it, it, to me, it's always been the length of his swing. He, he's always had too long of a swing. Uh, he had a little bit of a contorted, if you re recall, a, a contorted setup in the box, and uh, he just shortened it up, everything up. He's, he's bats on his shoulder. He takes it from point A to point C and eliminates point B. So he's direct to the ball, and he's getting good results, and I think he's growing with confidence. Well, you know, <coughs> we went through that last year. We were we were playing in so, playing in so many close games, and the, the pitching really uh, held us uh, together last year. Not so much this year, but uh, uh, we're doing the same thing this year. We're on the verge of uh, becoming a better team. You know, uh, today in that ninth inning, it was kind of disheartening that we couldn't score there, but uh, uh, we did in the tenth. Obviously, um, it, it's a good uh, it's something good to see. You know, these guys uh, just kept coming. And um, I know it's a cliche, but it is what it is. And I'm happy that we have it. Were you, uh, well, let's go back to Orange Kevin. Were you also happy with his, his at bat in the 10th where, you know, they were trying to get him to chase? Who, Freddie? Yeah, Aaron. Also, Aaron. Like yeah, and well, and once again, you know, when you, when you, when you get a setup like, like he's got now where you're short to the ball, you can allow the ball to travel a little bit farther and it gives you more time. To, to make a decision, and I think uh, that's part of it. I think the fact that he laid off some, you know, semi-tough pitches to lay off, um, uh, that says a lot about where how far he's come. So I'm looking forward to watching him play a little bit more. Have you seen – Freddie had a couple rough innings in Chicago there, obviously. Have you seen any change in him over the last couple of days that think has affected him in any way? No, I, I'm like, as I said, I, I expect uh, Freddie to make every play. Um, uh, he has not shown any lack of confidence at all. He just he, the thing about Freddie is he he enjoys playing and he knows he's good and he wants to be good. So he he eliminates that. He put everything behind him. Well, if you if you notice, he didn't really try to lift that ball. He swung down on that ball, which is the thing that I always preach uh, to these guys. Uh, you stay above the ball and you go down to it. And if you get that backspin on the ball, you're going to lift it in the air. So uh, he did a good job. Um, you know, at that point, you just want to hit the ball hard somewhere. Yeah. Chris seemed to use his splitter a little more. Do you think he's got the message as to that you might get him back on track here? I, I, I think so. You know, I'm, I'm hoping so. I, I, you know, he threw out some real good ones, and he's using it more. And I think the more he uses it, the more hitters have to worry about it, and they can't sit on his fastball. Well, he made, he just it, it he's not making as good a pitch as he, he he elevated the ball to Worth a couple times, you know. Um, uh, when he keeps the ball down, 
he's very effective, and he just made some mistakes up in the zone.